Hi guys, this is Marjana again. Here is another highly requested aqua workout. This is actually part two to another aqua aerobic for weight loss that was posted on my channel a while ago. Part one is a full hour aqua challenge. And in case you still want more, combine it with part two or do this express 30 minutes alone on the days where you maybe have limited time and want to do something pretty challenging and effective. Let's focus on cardio endurance, speed, power, strength and balance. And let's make sure we have a lot of fun along the way. I love water. I love the sound of it. And I love being near the water or on the water. But most of all, I enjoy being in the water and working out and convincing you to work out with me. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you like it, share it, and subscribe to my channel. Find me on Facebook. Are you ready for another great workout? I hope you are. Let's do it. Convinced? Woohoo! In the first round, we're gonna focus on three exercises. Jab, cross, jab, and then you're gonna switch legs and switch side along the way. So you begin with left, punch right, it's your cross, it's your job again and then just transition your legs see how it looks underwater and then find the right tempo of course eventually we want pretty fast and challenging tempo but give yourself a moment because it may be confusing first right jab left cross right jab switch legs then you have left jab right cross left jab switch all those punches are just slightly below the surface with palms facing down. You have to engage your core and breathe through it. Imagine there's something in front of you right underneath the surface that you wanna punch. So this move gets pretty fast and strong once you are approaching your target. Push. If you've done my water kickboxing last year, you probably remember this one. If not, make sure you check those videos too. They are a lot of fun and they also burn a lot of calories. All right, now jog it out, take a deep breath and move on to cross-country skiing with knees tuck or without i'm gonna give you options here i'm actually gonna choose the speedy version here but if you want to go with knee tucks go for it again we're gonna repeat everything three times so you're gonna have plenty of options to do a little bit of your freestyle just in case you get bored we got 60 seconds let's go let's go let's go the biggest mistake here would be holding the breath we want to breathe make sure you don't lean forward keep your core engaged move fast the same arm position so you are still punching forward your palms are still facing down keep it up keep it up keep it up couple more seconds here don't slow down yet uh -oh. all right now we're gonna start with left leg and we will do roundhouse kicks around the world what you want to do is a full circle and it will take you anywhere from 30 to 40 seconds take your time go all the way around point your toe that's how roundhouse kicks are done 
just move your arms along, keep those abs engaged. The higher you kick, the better, but listen to your body. And once you do a full circle, come back to jab, cross jab, and then switch legs. This time we have 60 seconds. We want the same amazing tempo. Let's go. If your right leg is in front of you, your right jab starts the movement. You can even practice this exercise on land before you hit the pool because it's a little tricky, I know. But once you get it, you're gonna love it. By the way, in the comments, let me know what was your favorite move from this workout. I'm very curious. Keep it up, keep it up. Couple more seconds. If you see me slowing down, it just means you gotta push harder and faster because we're almost there. Now come back to cross country skiing, speedy or knee tucks. You choose. Very fast transitions. This workout is about losing weight. Yeah, so it has to be quite funky. To complete all three rounds, you need only 30 minutes. This is a perfect workout if let's say you have one of those days where you in a hurry. Yeah, we all got those days and 30 minutes is perfect. You're gonna do something awesome and you're not gonna feel guilty that you missed your workout. This is a great portion of cardio. Keep going, keep pushing and then switch side. It's your right kick roundhouse kick around the world take 30 to 40 seconds do it right move those arms along breathe out with each kick you got this definitely one of my favorite exercises now it's the third repetition for jab, cross, jab, and then you're gonna switch leg. You may wonder at this point, why are we repeating all those moves over and over again? Well, guess what? Our body actually needs enough repetitions if you wanna see difference in your body, if you want those particular muscle groups to get stronger. One set and only a few reps is not enough. And by the way, can you get bored with those moves? No, 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 no. Notice I'm using very small dumbbells. I want power and speed. If you're using bigger weights, well, obviously you're gonna notice you're moving slower. That's why I recommend you guys supply yourself with different aqua toises, different gear. Shop at the store that I recommend and make sure your workouts are fun and effective. Come back to cross country skiing. Again, choose the speedy version or knee tucks if you like. Push, 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 push like there's no tomorrow. Keep your core engaged, very important that you skip any rotation here. If you guys want to learn more about how to do cross-country skiing and what mistakes to avoid, make sure you check my educational videos where I told you all about this specific exercise. It's important we do all of them right. Did you know there's 50 different ways you can do cross-country skiing? Yes. There is a video for you to check. You're gonna learn a lot out of it. Final seconds. Push it, push it, push it. Breath into the nose. Exhale out through your mouth. And now combine right kick around the world and then left kick around the world. It will take you definitely a little over 40 seconds. 
unless you're super fast. Yep, so you're gonna first turn all the way to the right and then all the way to the left. This one is also great to open up those hips and that's what we all need. Then jog it out, consider taking a quick water break and let me present you round two. We all survived round one. This one has four different exercises. We start with 90 seconds of power jumps. Yep, it's getting really, really bouncy and jumpy, but you can modify if you want and do knee tuck jumps, right? Keep pushing those dumbbells down and up. That helps you to jump a little higher. Notice how I'm absorbing impact, which is still very small in a water, but there is, by pointing my toes and then letting my toes to touch the bottom of the pool first before I roll my foot and my heel down. Core extremely engaged. This one is intensive. You will feel your heart bouncing in your chest. Keep it up, keep it up. If 90 seconds feels too much, just jog for a little bit. Take a little, you know, break from now and on, that's fine. Next, we have aqua sprints and we are pushing those dumbbells out insanely fast. Can I say that, insanely fast? Well, I just did. <laughs> Let's go. Push it out, push it out, push it out. You want your legs to move so fast that you feel that the water is giving you hydro massage. Do one, get massage free. It doesn't get any better than that, guys. You get an awesome workout and good lymphatic massage. You're welcome. You have to work really hard for that, though. It's free, but you gotta work for that. Keep your core engaged. Focus. Do it. Push it. Come on. A little bit more. You got this. Go, 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 go. Final seconds are super important. Side to side kicks and we're going to push those dumbbells forward. Palms are still facing down. Now I do high impact, so I jump over between kicks, but if you want, you can obviously switch your feet on the ground, on the bottom of the pool. If you guys will be able to combine part one and two in one day, please let me know. Maybe give some tips to others how to do it, because that's huge. Part one was full hour and that was pretty rough. And this remaining 30 minutes, oh boy. Keep going, keep smiling. Woohoo! Split jumps is the fourth exercise. Low impact, but still quite challenging. Good for flexibility. So let's curl those knees up and then kick it out. Please take a moment to see how those arms are working. This time you drag them all the way down. Hello, chest muscles. You're kicking out and you are exhaling at the same moment. From all those four, this last one is a little bit slower this gives you that recovery that you need to do everything all over again. Very good. Coming back to power moves, power jumps, 60 seconds. My goal is always to jump as high that my belly button is above the surface. Mm -hmm. 
Well, I usually do those workouts at the water level around my chest. That's probably the best. If it's too deep, it's probably impossible. If it's too shallow, on the other hand, you get more of the impact. And I, and I know a lot of you like your workouts to be low impact, right? Because it's more safer for our knee joints, for our spine, for our hips. So again, finding that perfect water level is very, very important. Check the video where I talk about the most common mistakes doing water workouts. That will teach you a lot. Aqua sprint, push it out. Go, 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 go. 60 seconds. Boom, boom, boom. Speedy legs, core engage, even faster arms. We don't need the past in our lives for tomorrow. Never see the end of the night for sorrow. Remember, don't hold back with this workout. All we got is 30 seconds and we are already passing halfway through. What do we do to love? What do we do to love? When everything's said and done, what do we do to love? Those first few seconds in each segment should look exactly the same like the last few seconds. If that means you want to take a little bit of break, take a deep breath in, slow down in the middle, do it. That's absolutely okay. Side to side kicks, push those dumbbells forward, do it. Notice I'm curling my knee up before and after each kick. Don't let your feet to drop down before you finish your kick. Don't forget about your arms. They are getting a workout along with your legs, along with your core. Try coordinate the push forward move with each kick and push and kick and push and kick. Find a good rhythm and go with it. And don't forget to smile. Split the jumps. 60 seconds. Woo! Feel free to go a little slower with this one. Focus on range of motion. Focus on really dragging those dumbbells down. You want to bring those palms together below your hips, slide in front of you. If you exhale with your split jumps, you're really working your core efficiently and effectively. Jog it out and get ready for the last segment in this one. Power jumps. Let's go. 60 seconds. Keep in mind that round three is not that bouncy and jumpy. This is actually going to be all about core. So during the first two rounds, you want to do your cardio portion, okay? And then it's going to be more... Stable, I would say. Not easy, but less jumpy for sure. Keep it up, keep it up, still lifting the belly button above the surface. With power jumps, you can choose to jump out and in. Aqua sprint, push it out. 60 seconds. Oh boy. Do it, do it, do it.
remind yourself about core all the time because those moves won't be fast if your abs are on break uh-uh engaged go stay focused this is how we do it couple more seconds go 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 if necessary take a deep breath and then finish it this is the third time we repeat those sprints they won't happen again not today not in this workout side to side kicks keep working those arms pushing them forward and pulling them back in towards yourself Remember, breath into the nose, exhale out through your mouth. Don't catch yourself with your lips closed because you're not breathing right this way. Getting stronger with every single move, punching forward with all the strength you got. Can you do it for me? Come on. Well done. Split the jumps. Great for all thighs, inner thighs, chest, and yes, core. We got again 60 seconds. Have fun with it. That's the last time you're going to see it in this combination. fully exhale if you can hear yourself breathing right this is how we do it try again and make sure you can hear yourself exhale and that was the end of this round we guys gonna put equipment away. You can keep your uh, ankle weights if you want. Round three is all about core. And we're gonna begin with a wall exercise V jumps. So you'll be pushing your palms back and your feet to the wall at the same time. We're gonna have a lot of time to enjoy each and every exercise. These are two minute in intervals i would say there's no cardio this is all about strength range of motion and the proper execution of each exercise i love v jumps on a wall because we all have to focus on our abs we all have to make sure they're strong because they support our spine but at the same time, a lot of exercise on land is actually harming our spine. And V-Jump is effective and it's very safe. Notice that there's no bending on our spine, right? Our hips pretty much stay in line with shoulders. What's important is, again, the breathing. You exhale. You can hear yourself. It's even better if you guys can count every single move and say it out loud right and it should be almost challenging to say it because you are exhaling everything out give it a try trust me on that that's how we do it right at the same time you need your palms and those muscles surrounding your wrist to kind of help you stay close to the wall and make each jump better that's why 
do not use equipment okay using gloves would be an option here but no dumbbells please if you want to shop for best ankle weights resistant weights make sure you check the link in the description now notice i just grabbed bigger dumbbells for the next exercise because we're gonna be floating floating scissors now yes you can do it with your hands on a wall you can still do it with your small dumbbells but if you have an option to switch for bigger ones now do it this exercise on the other hand is all about core and yes upper body but the main focus is core so glutes hamstrings quads and abs we can't just do abs and call it a day no you need muscles on the other side of your body to be also challenged so your body is always balanced if you work front you gotta work the back if you work one side you gotta work the other side if you work outside you need to work on inside it has to be balanced and guys in my videos i really make sure this is done don't forget about your breathing and make sure you pull your belly in belly button into the spine again if floating is not an option just keep your hands on the side of the pool Those last seconds are challenging. Yes, we did it. Let's put those dumbbells away. Screwdriver. This time, you're gonna push your feet to the wall, but you will be turning your feet firstly to the right and then to the left. Well, this one I love so much, I could do it every day for hours. But we only have two minutes today so start enjoying it immediately with my arms i'm drawing like a circle movement out and around and again please don't use any dumbbells with it gloves fine but no dumbbells on your exhale you push those feet to the wall they hip width apart with v jumps they were way wider now just hip width apart and you're gonna look at your toes and they gotta turn either to well if you imagine a clock is on a the wall they even turn to three o'clock or nine o'clock yeah that's probably the best way to describe it <laughs> couple more seconds still maintaining good tempo exhale hear yourself breathing know you're doing it right you know later in a day you'll be too busy to focus on your breath now it's the time do it for yourself especially if you have option to do it outdoors oh fresh air and big smile and you are grabbing just one dumbbell now and we're gonna do wood chopper two minutes for this one you're gonna swing your arms from one side all the way around to the other one and then just bounce up to release that tension and then you're gonna do it again
try to use all the strength you got left. Imagine you really are about to chop that wood. You're working your core, but definitely those obliques. That's our main focus. Use your leg strength. Keep those knees soft and try to keep your feet on the bottom of the pool, which is quite challenging, but just do best you can. Now you can choose to go side to side with this dumbbell, but you can go a little bit down with a diagonal movement. Or you can just switch things up because you got lots of time to explore. On your exhale, swing it and bounce up. Keep going, don't give up. We are very close to an end. Again, the biggest mistake here, actually two, would be one, not engaging core, two, holding your breath. I want you exhale with movement, with challenge. You don't wanna see water being splashed because you got that dumbbell below the surface. You see the flow, you go against the resistance. Lots of benefits of this move, oh yeah. Couple more, getting close to an end. And relax, well done. I'm sure you guys feel amazing. We're gonna now do something for legs. We're gonna do legs, straight leg front and back lift. You keep the other foot on the bottom of the pole. You're gonna do eight on your right, then switch eight on your left. Again, it's a great core exercise, even if it seems like it's all about legs. Well, you'll feel it in your core. I know you do. You can choose to do one minute per leg, but if you alternate, then you don't have to count that time frame, which is good. Keep using your palms, your arms, just to make that movement better. Don't bend your knee. Right, bending knee, not that it's really wrong, it's easier. We want to challenge. Go ahead, switch leg. We're halfway through, unless you were alternating. Try to keep your upper body pretty stable. By that, I mean shoulders, kind of above hips, right? There's always going to be a little movement. Um, maybe one tip here you guys can hold the wall with one hand if, you know, the if it's too much of the resistance and you want to go with good tempo, put one hand on the wall, see how that feels. Good. Now finishing up with this, here is the moment where I would like you to put those ankle weights away. There's zero equipment we want at this point. And I will show you a couple cool down moves and we'll stretch because stretching is how we finish each and every workout. Now this is floating cobra, water cobra. It's actually not floating, but it's water cobra. And you can choose one arm version or both hands on a wall. You try to kind of lengthen up your spine, slow down your breath here. Eventually you wanna obviously switch arm. And again, this is just upgrade to this position. You may like it or not. It doesn't really uh, get the movement better. Just something different, more tricky. Guys, I really hope you enjoyed this workout. If you did, please like it because I will wait for 100 likes before I add part three. And I hope we're gonna get that score quickly. Check my other videos. I hope to see you in the water soon, maybe tomorrow. Bungee jumping in the water. That's another variation of floating cobra. And a couple kicks, just loosen up those wrists and ankles, light and easy. Relax. Shake those shoulders, shake your booty, curl your leg back. Support one hand on a wall if you want. This will stretch your quads. And yes, they've worked pretty hard. 
and one leg squat with the knee open to the side, another heel, heel on your knee, slow and relaxing shoulder rolls, breath in and out. If you need more time to stretch than I show you today, feel free to add your favorite stretching exercise. You can also check my playlist, there's at least two workouts with stretching, Pilates and yoga in a water that you can also implement to your future workouts. Thank you so much for splashing by. Don't forget to check the store link in the description. Get yourself some good gear. Summer is coming. Let's get into the best shape.